So I decided to buy one of these uh, solar grid tie inverters just to see how well it worked and kind of get the feel for it and see how cool it is. Um, so basically all it is, it's a, it's a regular inverter, hooks up to a battery source. Right now I have two batteries wired in series, so it's seeing about 24 volts. And it just has this power cord here. I have it plugged into an extension cord and it plugs into the house. So when I turn it on, see the green lights start to blink. And it'll blink a little bit faster and picks up speed as it starts to produce power. And then once it starts producing power, it actually starts sending it back into the house. So they run at a little bit higher voltage than the house does in order to feed back power. So you're going to be using power from the inverter first instead of from the grid. So now that the light has stopped blinking, it's up to full power show you that this little thousand watt inverter is actually running my house I'll take you outside to the power meter and set you up and I'll leave the clip uncut so it's not edited or anything and I'll come turn it on and you can see that power actually changing from delivered to received meaning that the power is being delivered to the house or being received back to the grid and you can see the direction of power change at the meter so we see delivered to the house, the arrow is pointing to the right, and this meter is moving to the right, so now I'll go turn the inverter on. It's turning on. It takes a little bit of time to get up to full power, but now you can see a change to received. So now it's actually sending power. Now it's actually sending power back into the grid. So you can see a change to received. Arrows pointing to the left. And you should see the kilowatt hour meter actually moving the other direction. It's not going to move very fast though because it's not sending very much power back to the grid. So now I will go turn the inverter back off and we'll watch it change again. So now when I turn it back off, it flips back to delivered. So now electricity is being delivered back to the house from the grid again. These also have what's called island protection, meaning that it needs to sense power from the grid in order for it to operate. So to show that, I'll unplug this from the cord. It just goes back to the house and it automatically shuts off. So this isn't actually producing any power right now. It needs to sense the power coming from the grid in order for it to operate. So plug it back in. Now it'll power back up because it's sensing power from the grid. So that feature is nice in case you did have it hooked up and you have a power outage situation. It's just going to shut it off instead of feeding power back to the grid and then injuring alignment. Overall I think this thing is pretty cool. I paid about $130 for it I think on eBay. It's definitely worth it if you have a sustainable source of power like a a large battery bank or solar panels or wind or something like that. This one is actually set up just for uh, solar because it has the, the positive and negative battery hookup. So this is operating on an 8 to 30 volt range but there is different types that are set up more for, for wind power. So either way, pretty cool option. The only downside to this is it does get pretty warm when it's it's up close to this 30 volt range, like around 25. It does 
it does get pretty warm. So if I were to run something like this long term, I would probably run it at at a, a lower range or get a larger inverter that I could run it in the middle of the range to keep it cool. Uh, at 12 volts, a regular 12 volt battery, just a single battery, it makes about 300 watts. So that's still not too bad and it lasts a pretty long time like that off just the one battery. But I actually think it works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. <clears throat> so I'm glad I bought it. I guess this uh, kind of sets the stage for possibly a larger solar energy or different kind of energy project. Hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can see the latest videos.